welcome to my channel. I'm going to make another wall clock today and for that I need this pointy uh, thing that I'm making here. I don't know how to call that but it has this point and this edge uh, almost like a spear of some kind. So I am shaping this and molding it until I like it and then I am going to pick it and make a mold of it. I made a mold with my silly gum mold putty and that is ready now. I left it to harden for around half an hour. Then I took some orange, some yellow, some light yellow and some opaque white uh, clay and I mixed it together. But I didn't mix it so much that it got a uniform color. So you can see the different colors in this clay still and it gives it a little texture, structure, whatever in uh, the done result. Then I fill up my mold with the clay and I cut off the excess clay and I have the first piece for my wall clock here. I found an old wrist watch that I liked and I took that apart and I'm going to use that for this project. So I'm lying these pieces around this wrist watch so that it looks really nice and neat. I'm making this sun shape around my wristwatch, making sure that this little dial have enough room to be able to work when it's all done. I'm using some Perlex powder to make it shiny. I don't use that much of it because I still want to see the yellow color underneath the shine. I'm going to make another layer of these. Here I have the next uh, sun part for the clock and I'm going to uh, clean it up a bit. Then I have this circle cutter that is a little too small for the face of the clock that I'm going to use. So I am using it first to make the hole in the middle and then I'm going to use it to make it big enough for the face of the clock to show through so that you have the whole or oh, clock face. I'm also going to give this piece a tiny bit of micro powder or perlex. I'm using some bacon bond to make sure that these are uh, leaves or yeah, that these pointy things are sticking together after baking. 
I roll out a snake of the yellow clay to put in between the two layers of the sun here and I am using pick and bond to put it together. I remembered just in time that I needed room for the dial for this ridge watch so that I had to change it up a bit so that's why it looks kind of weird right here. And I made sure that everything was connected so it didn't fall apart after baking. I used some bacon bond to make sure that the two parts were really good connected. I wanted to hide the snake in between the two layers, so I made another snake and this time I put it uh, together twice and rolled it together like you see here. And then again I used some bacon bond and this is to glue the baked uh, clay together with the unbaked clay. I did not like the inside of the clock so I made this strip and I placed it in the inside loop here um, and just smooshed it out, made sure my connection was nice and even so that it looks really nice on the inside. As the connection between the two layers was still kind of visible, I made these really small pieces from the mold that I placed in between again to hide uh, the connection. I cleaned up the inside of this little sun and made this little notch or indent in the top of it so I had a place to hang it in my watchmaker's den. Then I used my super glue gel and glued this little wrist watch inside of the sun be very careful that you don't glue anything that is not supposed to be glued and um, let it dry before you handle it after that. I just need the right battery for this little wristwatch and then this is all ready and done. I hope you liked this video, thank you for watching and happy crafting.